In this video, we'll go over the different options you have for assignments in Moodle. The assignment tool provides a virtual Dropbox for collecting student work. In our instance of Moodle, we have the assignment tool and we have the Turnitin assignment tool. Turnitin assignment allows for plagiarism detection. So with both of these tools, like I said, you get a Dropbox where students can submit essays or Word documents or other files, Excel spreadsheets, images, or even text that students input directly into the assignment tool. And that all goes into a Dropbox where you can then grade and give feedback to students. Why would you use assignments? They provide a centralized collection point for student work. So it's really similar to collecting papers in class and it's much better than asking students to email you their work individually because you can keep track of it all in one spot. Assignments give students clear due dates and they are easy to grade. The instructor can also provide feedback to students and this is really crucial. That feedback can be in line but it can also be summative comments. So there can be markup on a student's document um, but you can also just provide an overall comment and grade to the student. And finally, you can build a rubric within the assignment. So it's very easy to clearly show your expectations to your students and then grade using that rubric. I want to briefly show you and talk about the two types of assignments we have available in Moodle, Turnitin assignments and just the regular old assignment tool. From my main course page, I would click on my Turnitin assignment and I just want to show you what that Dropbox looks, looks like in Turnitin. So I can show all entries. The default would be set to 10, but I would switch it to all if I have a lot of students in my class. I can scroll down and when I find my sample student, we'll see that very quickly it lets me know that there is 100% similarity. So that's probably not a good sign. I can click on the blue pencil to look at the document. And what I submitted for this demo is the Gettysburg address. Um, so that is clearly 100% plagiarized from this website where I copy and pasted this text from. So you won't see this very often, but what you will see when you open up a Turnitin assignment is you will see any um, content that has been taken from the internet or from other student papers. So that can be a helpful tool to have for a quick look, though I would always urge you to look more closely because sometimes it is appropriate for students to be using content from other sources. For the standard Moodle assignment tool, you'd click on the assignment that you created. You would go to view all submissions to see your assignment Dropbox. I see that I have a submission. I can also get the file from here. Um, something that can be useful is that I can download all of the submissions if I wanted to download them all at once. I'm going to click grade and this opens up my assignment grader where I can use annotation tools to make comments on the draft. I can input the student's grade and I can also give feedback. Some important considerations for you as you set up your assignments. Uh, one is the due date. So I recommend that you do have a due date typically and you'll have that enabled. Students can submit after the due date but their submission will be marked as late. So that's really important for you to know. And if you want their grade to go down for a late submission so that there's a consequence, um, you might want to consider building that into your rubric so that timeliness is one of the metrics that you're evaluating them on. If you don't want them to submit late at all, you can consider having a cutoff date. I always call the cutoff date the secret due date. If you enable a cutoff date, it means that after that point, students will not be able to submit to this assignment at all. I usually don't recommend doing this, but you could have a good reason to want to use that setting. Submission types are also important to think about. So file submissions and online text are your two options. Online text means that there will be a text box that the student can type directly into. So that's good for something that's pretty low stakes, but usually you'll wanna do file submissions for your assignments. You can choose how many files they can submit 
And then you can also choose the accepted file types. So if you only want them to, to submit certain file types, I would recommend activating that. So for example, you, have, you can make it so that they can only submit certain types of documents. And that makes it easier for you as you're trying to open their files on your own computer. You can create rubrics, and this is just an example of what one might look like. We can teach you how to build your rubric right in the assignment if that's something you're interested in. If you have more questions and want to talk about your specific needs, please email us at moodlehelp at berkshirecc.edu.